welcome to Regina, Saskatchewan. We are here at the capital city of the Canadian province of Saskatchewan to explore the many surprises that this prairie city has to offer. While the name Regina may make you giggle, it literally means queen in Latin. This is the Queen City. Let's go check it out. Behind us is Lake Wascana. One of the biggest differences between Saskatoon and here is we have the lake instead of the river. Let's go check Welcome it out. Welcome to Regina, guys. Welcome to Regina. So this is a recreational lake. You can rent kayaks and canoes here. And then during the winter time, it freezes over solid and they turn it into an ice skating rink. The Wascana Center is the hub for recreational activity here in Regina and includes about nine kilometers of paved pathways and beautifully landscaped parks. By the way, if you are liking this video, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. At Rebellion Brewing, we check out one of the most unique beers to the region, Lentil Beer. How is it? Looks like it's pretty good. Oh, going, going, going. Next, we head to Copper Kettle, which is owned by Greek immigrants, and they serve up one of the most unique pizzas, spinach feta pizza. I'm in Regina right now. This is our hotel, the Hotel Saskatchewan. Look, the park is right here. It is Saturday morning here in Regina and we are checking out the farmer's market. Let's go see what we can find. The farmer's market is a Saturday morning tradition here in Regina. We're here in late September, so we catch the fall harvest, including heirloom tomatoes as big as pumpkins, giant squash, and mini apples. Shishito peppers. Ooh, delicious. Look at these mini cantaloupe. They are just so cute. So many footbridges here. Walking around the downtown, we check out some of the notable architecture, including the Prince Edward Building, built in 1912 in the former post office. Next, we drive to one of the most important buildings in the region, the Saskatchewan Legislative Building. So we are here at the Legislature Building here in Regina, and what's interesting is a couple days ago we heard of Queen Elizabeth's passing, and she actually visited all 10 provinces here in Canada. So right here is the famous statue of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, and we have a memorial here. She has been an inspiration for 70 years, reigning over the Commonwealth. So on this side, the signage is in French, of course. Another interesting fact about this statue is that this is her favorite horse. Its name is Burmese and it is from Saskatchewan. She was quite the equestrian. These gardens are just lovely. So in 1987, she visited Saskatchewan for five days, her longest visit to the province. Queen Elizabeth has truly made her mark on the province and in Canada, and now it's time to head inside the building for a free tour to learn where laws get made. Regina is a major event city, and we're here for the Queen City Half Marathon, which draws participants from around the world, including us from California.
We're at the Royal Canadian Mounted Police Heritage Center here in Regina, Canada, in the province of Saskatchewan. Come and join us. Did you know that the Royal Canadian Mounted Police train right here in Regina? They stand out with their regal red coats. We're learning about the Mounted Police here in Canada, including their traditional outfit. And they are also called Mounties. Here we are learning about the horses, which are vital to the Mounted Police in patrolling the East-West Territories. And they also provide a number of different traditional ceremonies. So you can ride in the police cars here. There's a driving simulation. Here's one of the police processions. We head to a contemporary eatery and wine bar called Crave. We order the locally sourced steelhead with zucchini pearls and the butcher's selection of beef, which rotates every night. This is the lavender creme brulee at Crave, voted the number one creme brulee in Canada. Mike, try it. So good, so creamy. The next day, it's time to set out on the outskirts of town through the prairie lands to see what adventures we can find. Enjoying the beautiful flat plains, and we have a nice split highway for most of the trip. Along the highway, we notice cloud formations that seem to extend as far as the eye can see, as this land is known as the land of the living skies. This area is also one of the top producers in the world for lentils and durum wheat, and we stop off the road to take in the beauty. Manito Spring Spa. There's some rough waters right there. Off the side of the road in a small town, we come across Manito Springs, known as the Dead Sea of Canada. A swim here provides therapeutic waters fed from a natural spring. The mystical waters of the natural spring. Water is so silky. There's so many minerals in here, and it's fed by a natural spring underground. It's got magnesium, calcium sulfite, silica. The waters feel like being in a floating jacuzzi and is a restorative break along your trip to Regina. This is how many coffees it took to drive this way. But we are at Nokomis. Mike, describe. We're about to try it. We made the pilgrimage. Yeah. So Saskatchewan is already pretty rural, but we out here. We took this like one lane road to get here, and now we're gonna try the hill. Oh my goodness, you guys, it has Saskatoon berries. Sour and tart and refreshing olives. We check into the Hotel Saskatchewan, one of Canada's Grand Railway Hotels, located in downtown Regina, and once housed many official guests. Welcome to the Hotel Saskatchewan. This is from 1927. It's one of the best hotels in Canada. Look at this. We have the view of Regina. This heavenly bed. It's operated by the Marriott. That evening, it's time for a mouthwatering dining experience at Avenue, a restaurant that specializes in comfort food and cocktails. We tried the seared scallops and mole sauce, seasonal fish, and beef wellington with rosemary glazed carrots. Let's try it. First bite. To top it all off, we try the Tres Leches cake and espresso cocktails. The next 
day, we check out the Mackenzie Art Gallery, which offers a number of contemporary exhibitions as well as a focus on Indigenous cultures. One of the exhibits focused entirely on beadwork done on moccasins. We pick up some art of our own before heading off to the Royal Saskatchewan Museum. Saskatchewan Museum and there's some really interesting 3D dioramas of the environment here. Uh, cool. Depiction of what things look like here in the prairies during winter. So this part of the museum we're learning a little bit about the fur trapping heritage of this region and the relations with the indigenous people. We found vegan food in Regina. We are eating in this cute little vintage home. This is called 13 Ave, and they are famous for their really healthy cuisine, and I got a power bowl. These homes have so much character. And what's interesting is we just learned that this city has tons of trees. So the city of Regina has over 500,000 hand planted trees. That's insane. I mean, we're in the prairies here in the middle of Canada. Just the color of these homes. Look at this like teal blue one. I have serious nostalgic vibes walking around here in Regina. It kind of transports you back to like the 80s or something like that, wholesome times before social media, where you just like meet up with your friends and go biking. And there was just an understanding that you would all meet up right after school slash work. Thank you guys for joining us here in Regina. We hope that you enjoyed it and get a chance to visit very soon. Stay tuned for more travel videos, like and subscribe.